This is section 2.1 from page 19 of the year one textbook on solving quadratic equations. So a quadratic equation can be written in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a, b and c are real constants and a is not equal to zero. It says quadratic equations can have one, two or no real solutions. If you remember from GCSE, what we have is the discriminant. Now that's the part under the square root of the quadratic formula, b squared minus 4ac. Now we're going to go into this in more detail in later sections, but just as a quick reminder, if that has a positive value, the quadratic equation can have two solutions. If it's zero, it will have just one solution. And if it's negative, it means that there are no values of x that will satisfy the equation and make it true it has no solutions. And just a reminder also that another way to call the solutions of a quadratic formula is to call them the roots. So to solve a quadratic equation by factorizing, we write the equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. What do we mean by that? Well, say we've got something like x squared plus 5x equals minus 4. The first thing that we do is we need to write it where one side is equal to zero. So x squared plus 5x plus 4 equals zero. That's the first stage done. So we then factorize the left hand side, put them into two brackets. So in our case here, x plus 4 and x plus 1, still equaling 0. And we say set each factor equal to 0 and solve to find the values of x. x plus 1 and x plus 4 are the two factors. Now, the reason why we go down this path of factorizing is if we've got two things here multiplied together to make 0, by the two things I mean x plus 4 and x plus 1, for this to be true, one of them must equal 0. So what we're doing is we're looking for the values that we can stick into both the values, uh, both the x's, to make at least one of the brackets go to 0. So for this left hand bracket x plus 4, for that to go to 0, x must be minus 4. For the second bracket, the value that we stick into both the x's must be minus 1. Now we can check that by substituting it into the original equation. So minus 1 squared is 1, plus 5 lots of minus 1 does balance with minus 4. I'm sticking minus 4 into the equation. Minus 4 squared is positive 16, plus 5 lots of minus 4, 5 lots of minus 4 and minus 20, so we've got 20 minus 16, and that one also does balance with minus 4. Just a reminder that there are other ways to solve quadratic equations, so we could complete the square, or we could use the quadratic formula. 